What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Ali's Gaming Channel. I wanted to take a second to thank all my subscribers for showing their support and sharing my content. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's free and only takes a second. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. This week we got the walkthrough for Valley of the Dead tournament. There's a lot of sand and bunkers and wind angles are random. Let's get to it. All right, for hole number one to par four, we're going with maximum distance at 10%. I'm using a katana here. All the wind angles are gonna be different. We'll find out on Monday what our actual wind angle is going to be. So in here I'm adjusting max top spin about 2.5 left spin, 10% at max. You can push up if you want, but I didn't push up. I didn't want to land in the rough. Perfect shot. We had a perfect shot. Alright, for shot number two, I'm going with the thorn. Shot number one, if you do use a higher power ball and you go from a little bit to the left side, you would be in range for a wet shot. And here I'm going with minus 10% at mid distance, not using any spin, just aiming directly at the pin. Minus 10% at mid distance is my adjustment. Great shot! I do hit a great right and miss slightly to the right side. Nice that adjustment is perfect for Eva. Alright, hole number two. We have a part three. We're going with the grizzly and a katana. I'm using the katana just so I can get that little bit of distance. I'm pulling about 2 left spin and about 3.5 back spin. Right by the rough to your left and our adjustment is 10% at mid distance with the grizzly. Or in general it's 10% 10, 10 at mid distance. Do hit perfect a perfect shot. shot. And it's hole in one. All right, hole number three. We're gonna go from the right side using a big topper and a katana, especially in a headwind that we have. I'm gonna push max top and one left spin. I'm going to put yellow by the rough. And then we're going to adjust 10% at max. 10% at max. We have headwind uh, push back a little. So that way you perfect can adjust shot. properly. Here we do hit perfect. And we land at a very good distance for a second shot. And tailwind to do this over. Alright, for shot number two, we're going with our sniper and we're going at minimum distance. First time I recorded this shot, I don't know why it didn't save, so I played it again. Minimum distance, use some backspin to aim directly at the pin but a little bit short of the pin we're adjusting 0% at minimum distance so it's 0% at minimum distance 
in a headwind, you would use 5% for elevation. Great shot! I do that a great right. Our speed is a bit fast. Nice a on! A little bit more backspin. All right, for hole number four, we're going with a navigator and a grizzly. Our adjustment is going to be 15% at max. Blue, blue ring right by the bottom rough, putting about 3.5 backspin, aiming directly at the pin. And here I adjusted 15% at mid distance. And I missed slightly. Our adjustment is going to be 15% max distance. Blue by the bottom rough. 3.5 backspin with a navigator. Perfect shot! Perfect. Very easy holding one. Nice on! All right, for hole number five, the par four, we're gonna go on the right side. You can use a power four, a power five ball, or use a power three or power four and use max uh, overpower. And here I'm going with a Titan. Our adjustment is going to be 0% at max. I'm putting max top spin to get straight to the fairway so you can either use max OP or about 80% OP I don't I use slightly slight little bit of OP great shot they don't want to risk because it's very it's a narrow spot you get very close you can use a a high power ball to get all the way to the field. All right, for shot number two, we're going with a wedge. We're just putting in a top spin. If you're not familiar with the EB rule, I'll put it up in the description. And here I'm going with minimum, so adjusting half my wind speed, and also on. Whole, uh, in shot number one, if you're using the right ball and adjusting it properly, there's a very good chance of getting a hole in one. Perfect shot! An albatross in it. But in here, other than that, it's a very easy. Eagle! Alright, for hole number six. Our elevation is 10% at max. I'm using a Titan and I'm going with max top spin about 1.2, 1.3 right spin. I don't want it to use my high power balls in practice mode, but in here you can if you would like to. I started at plus four yard mark to make sure I can adjust properly and then push the max I'm using slight overpower the slight right curl perfect it's shot perfect. we got a very good distance for our second shot. Alright, for shot number two, I adjusted 20% at max distance, but you will be adjusting 25% at max distance. About four and a half back spin, well, 1.2 right spin, aim directly at the pin and adjusting 25% at max distance red by, by the bottom rough for an easy albatross
Great shot. Great, great right there. And my adjustment was off by five. Nice on. We got very close. All right, hole number seven. We got another par three. I'm going with the navigator once again with the grizzly. I'm gonna go for the rough and roll directly, not directly, roll straight to the pin. I'm using about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 left spin. Just to aim directly at the pin. Your spot will be right there. Our adjustment is 10% at max. Yellow by the rough on the outside, left side. Adjusting 10% at max. The navigator. Perfect. Perfect shot! It's, I think it's coming slow, but then it goes. Oh. Hole in one! Alright, hole number eight. I'm going with uh, my power four ball. We have tailwind. I'm trying to get to the fairway in one shot. I'm going to use max top spin. Slight, like 0 0.1 left spin. Adjustment is 10% at max. Adjustment for the second shot is also 10%. Once you're done adjusting, push the max. And here I'm running out of time. So I had to take the shot. And I do hit a great left. Great shot! You can use overpower if you don't land. In the rough, your second shot with a wedge would be 10%. For easy eagle. Alright, finally hole number 9. It's a par 5. We're going to go on the right side, and here I'm using a katana. You can use a power 3 ball, especially in tail or cross tail wind, but max top spin. Adjustment here is going to be 0% at maximum. And here I'm putting about 2.5 right curl. Max overpower, slight left curl. Great and shot! Great right. Almost make it. Alright, for shot number two, our adjustment is going to be 25%. If on the first shot you make it very close to the fairway, you'll be taking the shot with a wedge. Or if you're just a little bit further away, you'll be taking it with a short iron. Our adjustment is going to be 25%. And here I'm adjusting 25% at 30% slider. Perfect shot! Yeah, perfect. Oh. Nice right. on! Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck.